They're thunder. great. We love them. Johnny Thunder. <laughs> Johnny Thunder, Chris Greenman coming to you live, baby. Live deep from the OC. We got people protesting, and they don't even know what they're protesting. That's what's going on. It, it is interesting. Have you noticed? I, I saw one report. The people that broke into uh, Columbia University, I guess, New York, they weren't even students. <laughs> That's the no. They're getting paid to go do these things. It's already they, there's already all sorts of evidence is getting uncovered everywhere. It's freaking hilarious. They need to track it. They need to make a database of everybody. I know that sounds like me asking for Big Brother, yeah. But for these type of people that are just trying to like play the tricky game and ha <laughs> tap tap no erases. I'm a protester. You can't really lock me up. I think these. Uh, I think their arrests are going to start becoming longer stays, and they're not going to have enough attorneys to represent everybody. I hope that's the case for sure. Well, I mean, they do have a lot of money. If you look at Soros, he's got yeah, he's funding half this crap. You know, and I and I and I did see that some of these people are getting uh, that I looked it up. Like, what does the protester make? They go, in some cases up to twenty k, probably for the leader for the cult leader. <laughs> Stupid man, right? What do you do for a living? I'm a protester. What are you protesting against? Well, whatever they tell me to. You know, it's like okay, that makes no sense. Last year was Volkswagens. They were too loud, and now. <laughs> This yeah. year, it's uh, Catholics that drink on Thursdays. We're protesting. Yeah. Or pink pickleballs, you know. Yeah, pink I, pickleballs are like, you should have them. You should not not play with them. If you don't oh, yeah, play yeah. with them, you're being out, you're not being inclusive with the pickleballs. You think I'm kidding? I, there were people argued on a pickleball court that, that almost got in a fist fight because they had pink pink pickleballs, and it, and, and it was hard to see with the, with the orange-colored uh, pickleball court. Uh-huh. But the person that had the pink pickleball says he was, they were doing it for cancer. And the other person's like, I don't give a – and they're, like, fighting. And I'm the one. I'm the one that usually promotes fighting. Yeah. I was actually breaking it up, saying, hey, guys, this is a, this is a game. I'm out. <laughs> this is a game, and we're not going to fight about this. We're just going to go play on a different court. There's four other courts. Let's go play on one of those other ones. You guys don't get together no more. Let's call it a day. So, uh, yeah. I mean, oh. yeah. Probably a couple of really tough accountants or hedge fund managers or something. <laughs> yeah, in Newport, yeah, for mobbing sure, up man. hard, going oh, deep. Man. <laughs> so you wanna, you wanna see? Something yeah, give me a demo. Here. Show me what we're looking at here. Let's give her one visual. Right. And can you see that yet? Not yet. You gotta share it up, buddy. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here oh. comes the sharing. Yeah, yeah. It's been. We're sharing because we're caring. We like to show you all the protests live. I mean, we can't just talk about it. Got to give you a visual. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. Nah, it's going to be popping up here in a second. Oh, yeah, you know it is. There it is. We have yeah. much more on that to come oh, make it in bigger. a show. But first, oh, former President Trump Don't sounding off that. after another huge day oh, in his hush money <laughs> criminal trial. Watch. This gang order is not only unique, it's totally oh, unconstitutional. Yeah. I'm the Republican candidate for president of the United States. I received this honor in record time. Nobody's ever gone faster. It's never happened. Nobody's ever got the numbers that we got. And I'm sitting in a courthouse all day long listening to this stuff. It's a Biden trial. And I never saw so many prosecutors. They're all sitting in the room over nothing, over absolutely nothing. There's no crime. There's no anything here. And this morning, the judge ruling that Trump be held in contempt of court and must pay $9,000 for violating the gag order. He even threatened Trump with jail time if he violates it again. Wow. Trump did get one small win. The judge is going to allow him to attend his son Barron's graduation ceremony on May 17th. Today, more witnesses taking the stand, including the lawyer who represented two women allegedly from Trump's past, Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal. But it's the person who has not taken the stand yet that some say is threatening the credibility of Alvin Bragg's case. Star witness Michael Cohen accused of cashing in on the trial with nightly live streams on TikTok. ABC News doing a review of those streams, and they say it appears Cohen is earning a financial benefit through viewers' donations. Michael yeah. Cohen here with another wow. Michael Cohen reacts. 10 o'clock again. See my Michael back Cohen. Cohen. Same back channel. See you then. When Michael Cohen, I don't approve of this message. What are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the same way on that one. So, um, hmm. he's a creative individual. He's, he's like, I'm going to TikTok about this, cash in on the hype. 
But then, then you know, when it's over, then your channel dies, and nobody wants to listen to what the rest of Michael Cohen has to say. But isn't yeah, he gonna? Isn't his testimony gonna help Trump in this case? It, yeah, it is actually. So, especially if they can show him profiting off it, you know, if he's because then then you have a then you have a tainted witness, and and it looks bad for the prosecution. So that's uh, you know. Here's the guy that said, I was trying to sue him last time, but I was just doing it for the money. And now I'm in jail. And, and, and it was all about the money anyways. So here I am. And I'm on TikTok now. And now it's really about the money a second time. Yeah. Is that what, did I understand it correctly? Or you I? understand it correctly. I couldn't recite it, but better than that, that was actually perfect. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's exactly what, exactly what happened. But what, what this judge is doing in this case, I know we were talking about the protest. We were going to talk about the protests, and we'll get back to that. But because they were everywhere, I mean, they're everywhere. These protests are everywhere. But um, just, the, just the the whole thing with not allowing Trump to talk about this stuff, you know, yeah. it's just a, everything's just unprecedented on how ridiculous this stuff is. It's crazy. So, um, yeah. Now, now, they're, yeah. now they're just arresting them. They're like, hey, you're getting arrested. They used to like have to wait them out. I mean when it was the lockdown period, they were so sensitive and so worried and looking like they were hurting a victim of some kind. And now, you know, it's like, uh, they're being anti-Semitic. So they're being racist. Yeah. So you can't use the race card. You can't say racist, racist, racist to everybody. No, no, you, no. Being, the protesters are being racist. Yeah. Against Jews. Yeah, it's, exactly. like, it's, it's crazy. I mean, none of these protesters know anything about what about Hamas. They don't, you know. It's 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 just it's silly. Or Iran, and and what do you have against Jews? I mean, it's the most this is one of the most racist stuff I've seen coming out of you know our universities and stuff. It's it's ridiculous. It's right. It's... So you did you see that clip, or are we going to share that? You have that clip where the guys were the the counter protesters were kind of going off on them, kind of like they'd had enough of the people camping. Yeah, the UCLA, the UCLA one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll pull that one up. I had it in Kid and I lost it. So um, I just got to find it again. Um, and it's all like down the street. I'm like, yeah, California's got it going on. They, they know to throw a party, Berkeley, Cal Poly, <laughs> up north. And <laughs> oh, now, like, yeah. they're trying to do all states at once, you know? Like, and, and yeah. there was one, there's actually one university that was actually considering divesting their interest in Israel, and that was Brown University. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. They have, they have like no leadership, but you see, you give into one thing and then you don't win support financially from anyone else unless Soros says he'll back your college with all his money. Right. Yeah. They, they, they were talking about that. They're trying to pass a new bill so they can like, if it's got some like foreign actor or foreign influence or something, some type of NGOs that like, they're not allowed to, if they catch them using that money, it'll become illegal. Right. Because America's pretty damn wide open, and it's really easy for bad actors from foreign governments to get in here, right? Right, exactly. Sorry about that. I mean, it's not like we can go on Chinese TikTok right now and Chinese YouTube and make a bunch of crazy videos talking about their government, right? No. Or no. Iranian or Iranian YouTube or or Russian YouTube. Maybe, well, Russian we could. but they're, Yeah, no, they're... they're, they're <laughs> They don't, their TikTok looks, not, you wouldn't even recognize it in China. I've seen parts of it. You wouldn't even recognize it. It's a totally different. You thing. need a special IP blocker to say that you're in that country. You know, and people, yeah. people that were working there use it to get out and watch their Netflix because they can't watch it. All right. So for your counter, uh, counter protesters. Yeah. Yeah. Pop that up. I'm ready. Uh, that's, what, that's what we're going to do. I'm just keeping the lips jabbing while we waited for the video. What do you get in the toaster, Chris? Some pop tarts, yeah, you know, <laughs> pop tarts. <laughs> show uh, us some pop tarts it? hopping around a campus. Yeah, we're gonna show. Whoa, hmm. well, you know, okay, view. Let me kick the other one out. Say, so, okay, you get rid of it. You did the right thing. Now we I go got, back. I got, yeah, I got the. That's yeah. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. It's okay. All right, that's part of the show. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Me messing it up all the time. Like Video that. hunt. It's it's thing the stream is cool, but it only holds one at a time. So it's and security tightening on college campuses as pro Palestinian and pro Israeli protesters angrily face off over the left. war in terrible. Gaza. Confrontations are increasingly tense and sometimes violent. Yes. Mm -hmm. It has an AI face like Protests like these are getting wide attention across the country and on Capitol Hill, where lawmakers are working on a bill to curb anti-Semitism. KTLA Sarah Welch joins us live from UCLA with today's development. Sarah. 
Nice hair. Sharon, like us a new developments tonight. Let me step out. You can see some of the increased police security here on the campus this evening. There's also word that a letter is circulating within the encampment tonight from UCLA administration declaring the encampment unlawful and that negotiations with these demonstrators could begin as early as noontime tomorrow. Now, we've reached out to UCLA for a uh, comment on that. We're awaiting a response. Meantime, the chancellor also put out a statement about an hour ago talking about the increased security and how the university has now engaged law enforcement to investigate recent acts of violence here on campus. Meantime, Congress also threatening funding to public institutions that can't keep students safe. Well, that'll and wake them up. Leaders, we have a clear yeah. message for mealy mouth, spineless college leaders. Yes, Come Grandma. On. Well, yeah, this one actually, it had the counter protesters, but it's it's down the, it's, it's more into the um, broadcast. Oh, you want to see the action. Yeah, I think everyone does. Hold on. Plaza near the Powell Library. This morning, protesters chanted, let him go, as a demonstrator was arrested for climbing the scaffolding with a Palestinian flag flying on it. Vandals also sprayed graffiti on the doors of Royce Hall. You cannot put graffiti saying Intifada on uh, Royce Hall. Most students don't even know what that means. Baby killers, Israel, Satan, that just goes too far. This morning, a man on crutches not affiliated with the protest was trying to access a public walkway outside the pro-Palestinian encampment and was tackled by UCLA security. I told them I was disabled. I have my, they said that I was trying to use this as a weapon. It was on the ground behind me. It was insane. There was also a report of demonstrators oh, they're a little edgy right now. getting to class. Sorry, the university called this kind of behavior abhorrent, saying actions like this could lead to severe disciplinary action, including suspension or expulsion. I'm not a Jewish hmm. student myself, but I definitely like, I'm more careful on campus. Like walking around now at like midnight is not wise because, well, what if they attack you? UCLA has increased security following the overnight scuffle. Students who support free speech told us restricting the area around Royce Quad is unfair to everyone on campus. Also, Yeah. Oh, you didn't show the attacks, the counterattacks. No, I know. That's what I was going to Want me to find that one while you're... Yeah, why don't you do that? Why don't I... you give me your feedback on what you're looking at here, Chris? You you get for a second. Well, I mean, these things, you know, what we saw... Let me stop this one real quick. Um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, they don't even... What, what that girl said was actually, like I told like what we said earlier, they, they don't even know what they're protesting. I mean, they don't even know what they're the words are saying in this different language what it means and so she was you know she was she was accurate that's how that's how you know asinine this is that they're even doing that they're even doing this kind of stuff yeah you might as well write something in like some i don't know hungarian on the wall yeah exactly and, they're, and they start chanting it it just shows you how people people are just you know they can be very followers well there's a to, the business of protesting is a business Right. It is now. It was, hasn't then, always been. And then AI is like people losing their jobs at Google, so they're now protesters. I'm kidding. That's yeah, not what that's that's probably is, actually. That's, <laughs> no, probably that's, just, that's a bad joke. Thank you, everyone, for joining our show today. It's an accurate one. <laughs> Sorry to oh, all here we go. Republicans at Google. Here's yeah. the anti-anti <laughs> yeah. protesters. Look at this. These guys aren't, the big these guys are not, Yeah, they're not getting paid because, because they just want to kick butt, which I like. Well, this is these are the students, dude. These are like the Jewish students. They went after these dudes. And so you get these guys with those like cop flash laser lights. Somebody yeah. was pointing a laser at people's eyes. That can blind you. It can. Yeah. You know? So that's their little counter weapon for the protesters. I noticed that I was I was looking at the weaponry. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, if I was an angry counter protester, not I'm not. I don't live there. I moved away so I didn't have to enjoy this good stuff. But uh <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what if somebody, what if somebody, you know, I don't want to suggest a method of attack, but what if somebody had like a, a drone that was like flying over that encampment, dropping stink bombs or something on them? See, they started shooting fire. Look at that. Look at that fire, that serious, like, like Fourth of July size firecracker, man. Well, if they I'll want reverse to that so you can hear it. Hang on. Let's get that boom put some of these barricades back in place. But again, security retreated when all of this happened. These are unarmed security officers. Someone just threw some sort of explosive or firework. Uh, okay, just a firework. <laughs> all right, uh, this is definitely... <laughs> 
that's are we the best serious? Video. I think that's the best journalist? video we've had to date, man. That's the best. I don't one think I we're should... serious. I don't think we're serious journalists, man. <laughs> no, we, well, but, but... <laughs> this is for entertainment only. This is an entertainment channel. Please do not watch this show if you want to learn anything. Just if you want to just have a good time. This is for entertainment. We're like the NFL, man. The NFL yeah. stopped being competitive a while ago, and they're just yeah. for inter- they're, they're entertainers. They even tell themselves that it's so. it's scripted. The NFL scripted, and so is uh, so is this. So is this uh, Antifa thing or whatever this is. Well, our show's not scripted. No, no, but the videos we're watching are from a script. Are definitely. Event, yes. They and were told what want... to do, jump up and down with a flag, yell at somebody, and then you, the other guys, shoot fireworks at them. And it's like a TV show. Bro, I could go there and teach them how to really shoot the fireworks because I got these. And when you come over, I'm gonna, you got to check these things out. These <laughs> things I got in Perum, man. It, it's like having a freaking bomb in your fucking M one sixties. No, dude, M one sixties look like stupid. Really? These things, these things shoot out of like like a, a tube. Go away. They're just like the, the professional ones you see. Oh, you know, nice. But I mean, the 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 noise and the explosion it will it rattles windows, dude. It's crazy. I gotta like, show you. The, the, you. You want another firework? There yeah, might but, be one more. There might be one more. Philly, this is definitely getting kind of out of hand. The police are nowhere in sight. We want to show you what happened just a short moment ago. Take a look at this video. Okay. In this video, you can see the protesters dismantling uh, some of those the counter barricades right there. Again, that was taken right as all of this was happening. These are the kids that don't Again, like the protesters. Again, pro-Israeli demonstrators now attempting to dismantle the pro-Palestinian encampment here at UCLA between Royce Hall and Powell Library. It has become chaotic, it has become tense, and police are nowhere on site. It was calm most of the day, but tonight the situation has escalated dramatically. Here's what it looked like earlier today. Tonight, the pro-Palestinian encampment that has oh, well. overtaken Dick. We saw that. Yeah. We saw okay. boring. Go away, boring. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. That's me. Sorry about that. So, so you got these demonstrators, right? You got some Israelis. Some of them might have already served in Israel before they came over with the IDF. Yeah, exactly. They know Krav Maga. <laughs> they know, they you, can, you can't they really something. prove they know anything you just have yeah, to go yeah. assume they do to assume they might know yeah you know? i yeah, potentially so, know krav maga i potentially know yeah but a lot of them had to serve by the time they're 18 19 so they've been in the military <laughs> yeah they, they don't teach you how to fight guys with lasers behind 400 people technique i don't know that one yet did you Speaking of lasers, man, I got this one that will burn through paper. I can do a demo if you think that will help our ratings. Yeah, if it, if it helps us, yeah. You okay. get a laser that you that does the paper. Was this the one that they were showing on TV? Get this. It's for cops. In case yeah, you get well, yeah. a forest fire. What, what? Yeah, this this one this one's pretty big. I mean, you can see it for miles, man. Sometimes if I'm bored at night, I'll go drive around. I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll do it real quick on you know those reflective freeway lights? Yeah. Or the freeway signs that was that say like the road, yeah. And you know, I do it when no one's around. Wink, wink. And then I, I'll hit the I'll hit the sign. It goes, it goes oh, boosh, it's like this big laser reflection, man. It's freaking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's pretty uh, neat. Yeah, it's, we'll do it when you when you come out here for sure. So yeah, I'll come. I'll come. I'll come. I'm gonna come down for some of that action. I yeah, mean, we got go. we got laser pickleball. You name it, man. <laughs> pickleball. <clears throat> and I mean, what if they start protesting pickleball? <laughs> well, the only people that they already have protesters for pickleball, and it's usually the neighbors because of the noise. <laughs> but they're not violent. What's so. not protested in California? Oh my God! Yeah, any, anything. McDonald's anything. is too high. Wages are too high. Inflation is too high. Blah blah yeah. blah blah blah. Gas is too high. Right. Yep. I got. I got one more. I want to go over today. I, um, oh, you don't it, go to gas stations anymore. You're electric. No, of course not. That's not the one I wanted. Oh, no. What happened to my... Well, maybe that'll be the only one to do today because I can't find this other one. <laughs> next next time, it'll be Sesame Street. It was something to do with uh, AOC. That was pretty funny. But AOC? Okay. Yeah. Is she still doing it, man? Well, I mean, it, it, it does kind of make a mockery of our government just to see all, some of the characters that have infiltrated it. And, you know? Uh, yeah, no, for sure. Let me see if I can... F- 
if I can find it again, I kind of want to show it to you because it's pretty freaking funny, actually. But uh, I mean, if I was bored and I lived in a foreign country, yeah. all I would do is just watch American news like a soap opera. Okay, oh, let's see 100%. if uh, did uh, the Donald Trump have a romantic interest? No, no, he had three romantic. No, no, none of those romantic interests. Now the man <laughs> who says he has romantic interests, no romantic interests. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god, man. dude! Yeah, I just I just lost the one with. The I mean, this is all because the elections are coming up. Yeah, but it's also because we got two wars going on. Oh, very true. Yeah, and it's like, I mean, we're not so heavily. I mean, we're around there guarding ships, shooting, you know, shooting down stuff from the Hooties, Hootie and the Blowfish, and they're. Yeah, but you, I mean, you're you're right. Where we are fighting two two wars though. It, it, you know well, what you want to know in the global scale. You've seen Iran and Korea and North Korea and China and Russia all become friends, right? So exactly. if, if Biden's done anything, he's certainly aligned Lex Luthor with whoever, <laughs> with like the Joker and with the Joker. Uh, yeah, they're all on the same I mean, team now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you couldn't be more right than that. Um, well, I'm going to save this one for you for next time, but uh, I'll have to find it. But it was it was so great about AOC on how much of a how smart she really is, which was, is not very smart, but she's anyway. a freaking genius. We'll get her next time, man. Yeah, yeah. There's lots, 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 lots. You guys, tune in. Give us five thousand million views. Keep subscribing wherever the heck you're coming from. We don't know who you are, but we love you. Whoever you we are, we do. <laughs> and, and we're gonna get this stuff so where it's gonna be pretty fun, pretty soon. Eventually, we're gonna do this logically, but please enjoy our ramblings. You know? <laughs> as, as they go on, man. It's not, you know. It's not on purpose, but we're gonna we're gonna get a little. It, just so you guys know, Johnny Thunder is very organized. I'm the one that's not organized, and I'm the one that's that causes delays in some of these broadcasts. So it's my fault. But I'm gonna overcome that because I'm I'm going to Tony Robbins therapy, and I'm also. Uh, you know, I don't ask a, you enough direct questions. I don't interview you, and it's like you know, usually on these things, you're like, "So, what do you think? Oh, what do you think?" And it's usually like a minute take a piece, like when I watch sports shows or. Had done those before. Yeah. What do you think about Nick Diaz's performance? Oh, well, I thought he was good. His fists were good. He was accurate, but he was really it looked like his back foot was hurting. Getting an Achilles right. problem. Whatever. But that's that's like when you watch these kids fighting. I don't know, man. It looks like Sesame Street gone bad. Uh, fire right. in the night, afternoon delight. You know, people camping. <clears throat> it doesn't look much different than homeless encampments. No, that's true. That's true. They're nicer tents. Give it a little bit of time. It's like they're trying to start that thing that they had in Oregon. What was that thing, Chop or or Washington? What was that? They locked down the town, Chad or Chop or whatever the name of that place is. And they had the lawless place that they blocked off. From the oh town. yeah, yeah, yeah. They did that. Yeah, with during the during the pandemic crap, and they took over the town and all that stuff. What we are seeing though is that cops are actually arresting people now. Now you think those people are getting right out on right? Yeah, on, that, that's the problem. It's like it's like pushing against the tide, you know, okay. on, on the ocean. So, so yeah, you're, you they are making more arrests, but it's like going in one of those doors that like that you go in and they keep spinning around, right? Yeah, I don't know what they, I don't know what they call those things, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, and that's, yeah. It's a revolving door. That's all it is because well, they're they're not even getting them in the jail. They're arresting them. They're getting them processed, fingerprint, DNA, and they're booting them out. So quick question for you. Yeah. There's so much camera evidence. Yeah. People are wearing masks, but these silly kids that think they're going to get away with it, you know, may not realize is that uh, they're getting, you know, there's, there's facial recognition and that recognizes your eyes. Think about what AI can do without, without having a camera on it or not giving it several inputs. And then think about how many cameras are all everywhere. Next time you go to the store. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just look at how many cameras you go by on your way to the store. ATM look at the, light, the tra- traffic light. lights. Yeah, every traffic light, almost every traffic light. Someone else's Tesla. Exactly. Three people's I mean, Teslas. Four, like twenty cameras just drove by you. Yeah, I mean th- that's a, Cops, so. Cop car has like two, two, three of them, right? Right. Scanning right. you automatically, checking and almost, the license. And almost every person that walks in, the, like, just let's take the U.S. for example, has a phone. Right. And they all are video and everything. I mean, half these people are video and stuff when they should be helping. I mean, you know, 
Which yeah. Is another, that's another they're like show. They're filming it. It's like they when they go to nature and there's like a, a bear. Oh, look, it's a grizzly and it starts eating one of them. They keep, they can't stop filming it. Oh, shit, it's coming for me. Yeah. It's, I mean, does anybody ever wonder how you get this great footage of people like getting their butts kicks at some point? I mean, doesn't anyone stop and say, hey, maybe the dude, maybe the dude filming should maybe go in there and help? I mean, <laughs> you know, hey, get, get him, get him, guys. We're going to get great, great views. Shark, from shark is eating their like fucking, you know, their kid. They're like, yeah, it's eating Johnny. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. Get your get camera. Get out of the way get of my your, camera. Get your phone. Get your phone. No, we'll, we'll, we'll help him after the leg's already out to the ocean. Yeah. yeah. Well, I already mean, got his leg. I, I got to document this so they know how to sew it back on. What, what are you well, doing? he's not going to live, man. Get it on camera. We'll get views. You know? It's like. Uh, it, but, well, let's see. So everybody there, they're all wearing these masks, right? Right. But AI can get a picture, facial recognition. You go through an airport, they're getting that scan, man. So they're, they're scanning your face. And what people don't know is like, you know, bad guys trying to figure out how to get away from facial recognition. And so if you see these new like movies where guys are robbers, their face, they've got their eyes blacked out because you can't see the size of the space space between their eyes right? and the mm -hmm. biometrics of that. But so if you're but, running around with this balaclava on, they still got your ass, bro. They can yeah. track you down. They can figure out who you are. So if you're protesting, maybe... Pick another job because that's going to haunt you. What what makes you feel cool for today? Maybe that got you some weed and some Delta Nine and 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 a new Xbox and a and an electric bicycle that goes to forty five miles an hour. But by next month or you know six months from now, you're going to go for a job or you're going to want to get serious. You're going to decide you're over your craziness. And guess what? They'll know who you are and you ain't going to get that job. So it's going to be like social credit. You're ruining exactly. your social credit right now, pal. With yeah, you're 100 right. And with facial recognition, I'm going to give some give everybody an inside tip. And this is this is just straight from like because you know, yeah. One full, like one part of your face, meaning like one one segment. You're sit on for facial recognition. You go into ten segments on your face. Okay, mm -hmm. any one segment can recognize you. Okay, so because your skin has it, it with 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 a 12 pixel and higher camera what it does is it can it can it can zo zoom in on your on your facial recognition okay like like one fourth of your head i'm, I'm basically just trying to outline it for you mm -hmm. zooms in on that and sees all the lines like you have on your hand and everywhere else right and it can based on the wrinkle the the space of blemishes just just little things that it can do and within it's within i don't know i think it takes like three hours It'll it'll have a match for other cameras that have that same thing, and then it'll give you the full images if they were caught. So it, it can build the whole puzzle off one micro fraction of the face. Exactly, and I, and and so if you you know if you go by a camera and you got, you know, you're like, oh cool, it didn't really get me, <laughs> right? Yeah, but but it will. You know that it, forehead anywhere? Yeah, they'll be like, oh my god, there's Chris Greenman. How the heck do you know that? I mean, seriously. So people you know, people it's just getting crazier and crazier on how how good it is is what i'm saying so it's like will ferrell and when that that funny movie the other guys where they're both cops him and uh marky mark and he's like yeah i made this uh app it's called backface like you take a picture of the back of someone's head you can tell who they are <laughs> i'm being sarcastic but if you look at facial recognition right no you're right it's just like and, a, and another thing someone told me about you're running around they've got your gait measured out the way you walk you, you can go get all the plastic surgery you want and come back looking like a blowfish. But if you walk a certain way, they'll be able to tell in your posture. You can burn your thumbprint off, whatever, man. It, 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 it's it's, a, it's it amazing what it can do. Down. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, so. You, if you get a series of if you get a series of pictures and you, get, so you start getting the same person that you're recognizing, even like you know, once, twice, three times, by that time, it's already built your profile in so many ways that you're screwed. I mean when it comes to a serious crime or something like that, you know? I mean, so here is a serious question. Now we're wrapping it up, but this will make a good short. So here's a question for you, Mr. Expert on, uh, you know, facial recognition and uh, biomechanics, all that different stuff. What do you think is going to happen to these people? I know I said it early. I kind of gave away the answers, but you're, you've been around all this different technology. How long or when do you think this stuff is going to come back to bite these people? Because when we were kids, we didn't have that stuff. So we get away with things like jumping our BMX bikes over the, the train track or, you know, drinking our uncle's beer when we're nine years old or something stupid that you would never do today because right. no one was around and there's no cameras. But now 
everything's on camera. Even the after school fights are on camera. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. Like they, they make a damn YouTube out of it, right? Right. So how long do you think before some of these people get rounded up or it comes back to bite them? Maybe not from law enforcement, but some other way in life. It's going to, it'll definitely come back and, 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 and bite them, you know, very, very, you know, in the near future. But here's, here's the problem that you're going to have. The problem that you we're going to have with all these cameras, it's a, it's a double-edged sword with, with when you start mixing it with AI, because AI can create, can create videos uh, and you think it's the person Deep talking, fake. but it's not. Yeah. So we're at a point where criminals are going to be able to start using it as a defense. Well, that was created with AI. Okay. So then it's going to be the how, how secure is the video that caught him? Because, because it's going to be a gonna... video analyzing AI program that analyzes the, 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 the truth of it, you know, if there's any true matter to the, like, right. But that's going to be even AI is going to know how to correct that too, though, is what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. you're get you're going to get to a point where, yeah, okay. Everything's on camera. If you do, if you do, if you commit a murder today, I'm not saying like two years from now, I'm saying for today, you're going to get caught. 99.999% yeah. you're going to get caught. Okay. Certain crimes, certain crimes from the 80s, 90s, when, when people are all these podcasts, these mobsters talk about the stuff they get away with, they would not get away with it today. <laughs> not even close. Sammy Gravano wouldn't have 13 bodies or whatever number he had or whatever he was behind. Everything would be done. Right. And, and, and TikTok's a great example. TikTok has these videos. They, they show Joe Rogan. I hate, I, you know, I, I kind of like Joe. Um, they show him talking about like a product or something like that, but he's never talked about in his life, but they, but they showed his advertising. Joe will like act like he's, they'll, it'll, it'll, you'll seem like he has a guest on talking about some product. Yeah. He's awesome. a, it's a fake, it's a deep fake of him, right? Yeah. It's, it's a total, it's a total AI production, but you, but you would never know it. You, you know, most people would, would look at it and say, Oh my God, well, Joe Rogan recommended this. And you know, if you, if you ask Joe, he'd be like, no, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's, that's it's, the problem you're going to have is you, you're not going to know what's real and what's not real. It's, it's it's like Elon Musk talks about all the time: what's reality, what's not, and and that's really that that's really a big big issue that's going to come up in the near near future. So, so you think that okay? So one thing we're going to be watching fake riots, and the other thing is that some of these rioters will be found out, perhaps. Exactly, exactly. So what do you think? I mean, what's the price to pay if like? Okay, so if there's things that anybody's done in their life in the 80s, 70s, 90s, and early 2000s that before the smartphone ever even existed, you know, that people got away with things, whether it was hot wiring a car or whatever, you probably bust anybody that steals a car now. You get yeah. GPS, yeah, you know. It, 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 there's so many real ways. And, and like I said, every in California, every intersection has a camera. And these right? aren't cheap. These aren't cheap cameras. These are these are great cameras that and with and it, AI that's scanning and taking in data. It's not just uh, there's a car that drove by. We don't know anything about it. Oh, that's John Jackson. He's uh, five eight. He's forty six years old. He's an accountant. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. He's got two, three speeding licenses and he's got a, a parking ticket coming up. And, and I uh, would, and like you, you brought this, up, you brought this up. So I didn't mean to cut you off, but yeah, you, you, you brought this up about crimes that are going to start catching up to people because the technology is going to go backdate and find them just like just like they've let people out for dna testing they've they've convicted people because of because of the technology but it's also going to go back and get some of the people that got away with stuff they're gonna be able to go back and and reverse it and and you know find an find an exception to the statute of limitations on certain things so you know we're in for a we're in for an interesting world coming up in the near future you know well, what about, okay, the Trump case, the prosecutor, they pinged the relationship she was having, the infidelity situation, and the guy, she was basically in cahoots with the guy that was there as a co-prosecutor or something, right. and was saying that they were both trying to, like, take him, right. take, take down Trump, and so she hires the guy that she's seeing, and they're like, oh, we've never been together, but they, they were able to get the phone data 100%. of where they were. And found out that his phone was next to her phone by her house. What was he sitting across the street, hundred and eighty-two different times? Yeah, when, when they triangulate that and see it, it's 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 pretty freaking clear the way cell phones work. And you know, and that and that and that that's dismantled that dismantled half that you know almost every accusation against against Trump because the truth makes its way out because of 
technology is able to go back and get this stuff. You know, the, the Russia collusion hoax, bull, you know, bull crap. I mean, right. it was all proven. This stuff's proven. It's not like it's, uh, you know, someone's opinion. It's like it's, it shows how they how they, you know, falsified evidence and how they 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 falsified all that information, the FBI and, and other organizations. So and the DOJ. But, um, you know. People what are the sneaky people going to do when they can't get away with nothing anymore? That's the interesting question. They're going to be like, uh, just going to go. If we're going to get caught, I just feel the need to do something bad. Here I go. You know, what, what I think they're going to they're going to pre-plan getting caught and and, 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 and try to lie their way out of it or yeah. try to find some law that they can bend. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're going to do it knowing they're going to get caught and, and try to reverse engineer getting out of it. Right. hundred percent. hundred percent. What I got to end, I gotta end little, this though, man. Great little pod, man. Good talk, man. Johnny Thunder, Move on. As, as always, you're the man, dude. No, you're the man, man.